What's up you guys, this is Adam Gillespie with Rancid and Sweaty Calves coming at you with yet another video. And in this one I'll be covering something that I find very, very interesting. As we all know, critics have become rather untrustworthy in how they review films as of late. Um, and as you know, fans are oftentimes a little bit more honest because they're not getting paid consistently by movie industries to review things positively or negatively. Now, we know that the DC movies have had a relatively bad track record in regards to the fandom and to the, the critics. But if we take a look at the uh, score here, we see Black Adam sitting at a really low 39% by Rotten Tomatoes critic score, whereas it's a 90% from the audience. Now, a lot of the audience may be normies who just went to go see a fun action flick that was rather enjoyable in the moment. But it's also a relatively comic book accurate film in regards to the power levels of characters and whatnot, the way the characters look, the comic book accurate suits are really cool. When Black Adam finally came back and he was wearing that sweet, sweet suit with the golden armbands and the golden boots and the cape, it was just so cool looking. As a, as a DC geek in and of myself, I was freaking out because I got to see this really awesome comic book accurate looking character. Now, I do wish that he had the hair and the elf ears and he looked a little bit more like an Egyptian character, but overall... It looked pretty okay. Now, I'm not going to just talk about the looks of this film. I'm also going to talk about story and whatnot, but that's going to be in a longer form review. I just thought I'd show this to you guys because it's very interesting. If you take a look at something like the Doctor Strange movie, you take a look at the Black Widow movie, the, Sh uh, the uh, not the Shazam movie, the Shang-Chi movie, you know, most of those films have critic reviews where they're doing this really high rating and you look at the audience scores and they're actually really low. And there's this on, there's this consistent contrast between fans and between critics. Fans will review movies based off of whether or not they found it enjoyable and liked it. Critics will base their reviews off of what, are, what movie company is paying them to review it in what way that day. So many critics have been reviewing films at really high ratings when they're actually the worst movies imaginable and reviewing really good movies at the lowest ratings possible because they're being paid to do so. Don't trust the critics. Trust the fans. The fans aren't getting paid to say anything. The fans are going to say what they're going to say because they think what it is they think. Fans will either like or dislike a movie based off of their own personal preference, and a large, vast majority of those fans will speak their opinion truthfully. However, people will still go to the critics. Don't go to the critics. Cut that crap out. Stop listening to the critics. Listen to the fans. The fans are the key to the new future of DC Comics, Marvel Comics, every single comic book industry out there, every single entertainment medium out there. The fans are the future. The fans are the people that make it possible for these companies to have any power in the first place. And to see a 90% audience score of this Black Adam movie, that's a huge win for this movie. That's a huge win for DC. That shows them that even though this movie might not make all the money in the world, it does strike a chord with fans, and fans do enjoy it. So go watch this movie. I highly recommend it. It is a fun, enjoyable film. I would personally rate it maybe a 7 out of 10, not necessarily because it's that well written, but because it is enjoyable, and it doesn't get too heavy into politics. And it's just, the, the looks of the characters are really, really cool. I mean, that's one of the, that's one of the lesser important reasons for rating it as I, as I rate it, but still, so cool. It's a good movie. I enjoyed it. There were some plot issues. I'm not going to be totally unbiased about this. I am a DC geek, so take my, take my word at a grain of salt, but still, fun movie. I highly recommend going to see it if you just want to go see a movie that will help you enjoy your day. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, share this video out there with your friends, and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you won't miss a single video that I upload. You can also find me on Patreon and Rumble. I leave links to those in the description below. I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of the week.